Hey, what's up? Back again. First base note hit me in the chest, and I was just like, there's no way that's too late. MB Enclosures it has his own YouTube channel, and this guy is an animal when it comes to designing boxes. And What's up? Here we have the JBL. Stadium 82 SSI. SSI stands for Selectable Switch Selectable Impedance. You can actually switch the subwoofer on from two ohm to four ohm to get the max power out your amp, which is very convenient. JBL belongs to the Harman Carbon Company. Harman Carbon has been around for a long, long, long time. They make cardio, which is their JBL line. I think they have a Infinity has a cardio line as well. Infinity, JBL, and there's a third one, all belong to Harman Kardon. He bought them all out. Harman Kardon Audio, Kardon Audio is older even than Kicker. Because Kicker is, was at one time strictly cardio, now they branched off into other things as well. But Harman Kardon is even older than that. Very old company. So let's unbox this 80, this 8 inch. And why did I get this 8 inch? Because some people on my channel, they're not into just seeing overwhelming, overpowering SPL. They're not chasing no counter meter score at all. They just want something that's gonna sound very, very well inside, say, the, the cab of a truck or a small car. And they need something that doesn't need a lot of power to get loud. Well, this subwoofer has an 89 dB. So y'all say, oh man, 89 dB, that's that's louder than the Cosmos, the B2 Audio. Yeah, it's, they can get louder than all of them. Let's quantify that. It's different. This has a two inch voice core. It's like the JBA, the, the B2 Audio Rampage is a two inch voice core. But it has a thousand watts, a thousand watts on wrist rating. This has a 400 watt on wrist rating, 1200 peak. So it will handle three times the power for a short bursts. But majority of the time, you have 500 watts, you have you have exceeded exactly what this It's right at what this subwoofer can do. It has a thermal capability to dispel that much heat. After that, even though it might be louder than, say, 200 watts because of its high sensitivity, we're going to say the kickers, BT Audio, Cosmos, Sundown, whatever. As the power increases, this woofer can't handle all the excess power. Don't need it to get a certain loudness, but as the power increases, it starts to reach its thermal limits. You're not going to get any more output. Whereas the other larger subwoofers, kickers, Sundown, Mizio, Rizzi Sounds, all the rest of them. They would just keep going on and they loud us because they have the, the, the thermal capability of dispelling that heat and turn that, that electrical signal into output. So, you get the little mounting cut out so you can trace it so you can cut the subwoofer out. Uh, it has a seven and a half inch cutout. It actually has more cone air than most eight. It's up there with the Cosmo 8, uh, the CT Sound Strato 8. Uh, it's something that's utilized in that bigger basket that you see. A lot of design, a lot of companies going to. Uh, it has a bigger cutout. Because it has that 7.5 inch cutout, the SD on this subwoofer from surround to surround, we're counting half the surround over, is actually uh, 35 square inches. Whereas, say, the CT Sounds, the Resilient Sounds, uh, the Sundown X8, the Sundown, I mean the Sundown S8, all those have a SD somewhere between 31 and 32 square inches. So you have three more square inches of cone area here. I tell you all the time, cone area is king. I also tell you, nothing beats clean power. And look for the efficiency rating. So this woofer has all that, but it's not going to, as far as having overwhelming loudness, I mean, you're going to get a certain amount of SPL with the driver, but you're not gonna eclipse, say, say anything you've seen me testing so far. But on, let's say you only have 400 watts to give. You got a kicker, 300 watt amp, or a, uh, or even got a 250 watt amp, or a 500 watt amp. You don't really, you're not trying to have nobody in the next car overhear you, but 500 watts will do that. Even with one of these, if you had to stop like one of these in the correct enclosure, the person next to you at the stop light will hear you. They're not going to really hear, hear you uh, before they see you with this unless you're using multiples of them. Multiples. 
uh, they get very, very loud for the power they can handle. Remember, 400 watts RMS, and they're not going to take too much over that. Honestly, they're not going to take too much over that. It has 10 millimeters of excursion. Uh, the gap, top of the gap height is 8 millimeters, so 10, 8, tip. It's 10 millimeters of excursion, I ain't mistaken. Let me see. Let me see what this gap height is. Okay. The maximum excursion is 10 millimeters, all right? Uh, that's linear. That's linear X max. The it's got a high bass because of the a little bit larger surround. So I having a six and seven uh, 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 liters. It has a nine liters at bass. So it was translated to like 0.3 or something like that. 0.3 cubic feet. The moving mass is surprisingly light because it has a paper cone. It has a paper a paper cone with this. Oh, Kevlar coating over the top of it. Not carbon fiber, Kevlar. Kevlar coating over the top of it. Keeps it very rigid. The spider is only glued to the pole piece, but I would trust it as a very, very high glue. And if you know the subwoofer is only ready to give you its performance at 500 watts, you're not trying to exceed that. Trust me, this woofer will take 400 watts all day long. This is this is Harman Kardon back in this. This is, this is not a, it might be manufactured in China, but to exact standards. This is another company that's in the top tier, tier one. They have a 10 and 12 in this model as well. Get substantially loud with very little power. Uh, I'm gonna show you how it sounds in the box. I'm gonna show you doing a free air demo as well. You'll be surprised at how loud and accurate this subwoofer sound with that 400 watt arm is power rating. This is something you might hear, you see in the bins. Uh, some of you, Benz or BMW, nice little small box to give you a, a very accurate, clean sound. Uh, let's see, the FS of this sub is 42. Uh, what else is very interesting? Low mass, low mass, very low mass. It's, it's going to move very fast. Very, you're going to be surprised when you when, when you guys get to hear this, this wolf. And what's the key factor on it? Key factor in it is this selectable impedance. So, this is basically a, a single coil driver that has two coils. One that's two ohm and one that's four ohm. And this switch controls it going from two ohm to four ohm. So, if you, if you make your power at four ohm, very, very accurate. Which is probably what I would select to put this on the false gate. Here, I'm going to put it selected at four ohm so I don't want to overpower it. Because this amp is 1201. 802 and 404, which would be all it needed for. I could put it, at, switch it to two, just to see it move a little bit more uh, and turn the volume down. If I had a larger enclosure for it, it operates in 0.5 sealed and one cube ported. So anywhere between anywhere between 0.5 to one cube ported is where this subwoofer will perform the best. Uh, and I tell you, double let the size of the magnet be your deciding factor in what you're looking for. This is this is SQ loud, but it's SQ loud A. Is what I call sound quality loud accurate. So you got you gotta give up a little bit. What you're giving up here is all out empowering this VL would just say two. Two of these are going against two uh even the kickers uh any any subwoofer on five hundred watts. I will go against other larger two and a half inch cores or other boutique subs. But at 200 watts, 300 watts, you're going to be surprised how loud this is compared to the old guys are just now starting to move, and this boy is already moving very, very well. Uh, it's giving you a certain loudness for an, an, an efficiency. So that's why I had it. It's $259 on Amazon. I think it's that a high efficiency rating, the overly large cone. All of those things contribute to making me put this on the channel. I'm just trying to bring you out different options, different things you can do. Uh, you don't have to follow, it's, man, any subwoofer you build come bring to me. I'm going to build a box that's going to sound good for it. I love all subwoofers. So on my channel, you're going to see a variety of subwoofers, a variety from, from everything you can think about. <laughs> that's what you'll see on my channel. So here it is. In closing, from JBL Stadium 82 SSI. I actually had a subscriber send me this up. Uh, he liked the channel so much, he said, man, I'm going to send it to you just to review. Uh, you can do whatever you want to do with it after that. Uh, remember I told y'all to have 10s, 
tens and twelves in this driver. So I don't know. So basically, it's a gift. <laughs> He's in Hawaii. His name is Rossi. Yeah, Keith Rock. I think his name's Keith Rossi. Sit with his sub for man. I said, man, we was talking about on the phone. And I was like, man, I don't need the rest of that set anyway. What do you think about it? I said, well, I know I know about JBL because I used to run. I had four JBL GTI 12s way back in the early 90s. And I put four of them in ISO Barrett uh, clamshell configuration. The accuracy, the deepness of the bass, I can hear it now. I can hear it now. So I know what JBL does. This is what I would call some of my SQ lines. One day I'll organize all these videos so you can watch them through my subject. Right now, I'm just all over the place. I <laughs> just give y'all all the information I possibly can while God has allowed me to give it to you. Peace.